Good evening. Welcome to Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. I'm here to talk about my experience this past weekend at the 17th Annual Book Club Conference. And I just want to say shout out to Curtis Bond. I mean, 17th. And I know it's not easy, but I just want to say first time going, my experience was like, wow, this is so nice. Is so up to par. I love it. It was like I've been to several book events and not talking bad about those events because those events are really good too. But this was different. I mean, I first of all, I just want to say I love being with my literary twin, Diane Member. I mean, we had such a wonderful time talking and everything. But just the whole experience meeting like Tina D. Smith, um, Miss Sean Jackson, I just was overwhelmed. I really was. And I just want to say, like, for instance, this is well put together, like the program. I mean, it tells you what room the author is going to be in, what time. I just loved it. And I love this, you know, your name, best stating your name, where you're from. I just thought that was wonderful, you know. And I just want to say, for Curtis, again, you know, to be doing this in, what, 17th annual, I mean, I just have to give you a clap because I really enjoy myself. I met Curtis Bunn maybe two, yeah, two years ago at his book signing. Um, He had a book coming out, and I just, I went to it, and very nice. That was very nice, so I should have knew this was going to be extra nice and up to par also, too. I just, I'm just going to share with you the books that I purchased this past weekend. The first author I've read by is Sylvia Herbert. Beautiful. I actually got three books from her. This is the second one, Red Heart. It's a novella. She had that three for $15. And I also got Love Like This. She said, this is part of a series, but you don't have to read the other ones. It's like a standalone, one of the brothers of the family. I just want to say I read, my first time learning about her, I read on my Kindle was Mistaken Identity. And it was about these two twins. And when I say, I was like, wow. I fell in love with her work then. My next author that I met again, because I met her probably like a week or two before this past weekend at Atlanta Kickback here, is Michelle Mitchell. And I look forward to reading this. It consists of 300 pages. Don't you just love it? And look at that cover. I love it. The next author I get, the, I got to um, go to his session. Unfortunately, I didn't get the, you know, get my book signed. I mean, it's signed, but I didn't sign it because, I mean, I didn't get it signed. My literary twin, she was able to, because he had so many readers, and I wa wanted to go look at other authors' books, so she was fortunate enough to get it. Thank you, Diane, for it, too. And I'm talking about Brian Smith missing. And he signed it. I've heard so much about Brian W. Smith. I can't wait to read his work. I mean, great things. The next author, I knew, I learned this book from Miss Ella Curry. She was uh, promoting this book, I want to say, last show of top best reads of that year. There is, is Sunshine After Rain by Patricia Saller. She was so nice. I mean, I talked to her like maybe twice. And that's one thing I like about the event was like normal when you go to a book event you probably get to spend maybe roughly 10 15 minutes if it's a line other readers trying to get this author's signature of the book but this weekend was like okay if you didn't talk to the author saturday you had opportunity i mean friday you had the opportunity to talk with them saturday and saturday night and i just want to say also thank you curtis for the um the after uh party after the Banquet that was really cool. The desserts, the drink, and the dancing. I really enjoyed that. This is a book that was in one of my um book book bag, backpack, whatever. 
and uh, by Brenda Jackson, uh, Forget Me Not. And this is the bag that it came in. I, they put two books in it. And also my shirt was in it also. This next author, I heard so much talk about this book. Got to go into her session to hear her speak about it. And I really enjoy her speaking about this book. And I'm talking about no other than Ebony Roberts. The Love Prison Made and Unmade. I really look forward to reading this book. The next author, Ashanti McGee, No Longer Trapped in the Closet. She's one of Arkelly's victims, surviving Arkelly. And the next author I met back in 2009 at my very first book event, and I'm talking about no other than Portia A. Cosby Complicated. I read two of her books. And I'm trying to tell you, it was like a two-book series, and it was on fire. I was like, wow. A little too late, I think. And then the other one, I can't remember the other one, but it's a little too late, I think. She also had this book um, of the author who actually couldn't make it to the event, Hidden in Plain Sight by Sharon D. Moore. And I just read the synopsis on the back, and I was hooked. I can't wait to read this. The next author, my literary sister, Shannon Harper, was there. It was nice meeting you, Shannon. And it's from Chicago. She said this book is the best book of the year. She was read it. One Night in Georgia by Celeste. Norfeet. Um, actually, when I was in the bookstore, I picked it up. The author was like, oh, that's a good book. You're going to enjoy it. So I look forward to reading it soon. Last but not least is I love her energy, her interaction with me and my little twin. And I'm talking about no other than Avery Good. Pillow Princess, my literary twin, read this about a month ago, and all she was talking about how crazy this character Tremaine in the book was. And she, she was like, oh, oh my God. This book also was in my um, bag. I never heard of this author, but I look forward to reading this book. And last but not least, it's another book by Avery Good. And I just want to say, if you've never been to the annual book club conference, please, please, don't cheat yourself. Go. It's, even if it's just one time to experience, I guarantee you, you will want to go back. You really would. I mean, he bring in the big headers. I mean, like, Walter Mosley was there. Eric Jerome Dickey was supposed to have been there. I don't know what happened. And Rashonda Tape, I believe her daughter was sick. Um, last year, Jennifer Lewis was there. Alice Walker, Terry McMillan, Bernice McFadden. I mean, he bring in the big people. And it's just a wonderful experience. I really enjoyed myself. I really did. I would just like to say for our close out, please, if you have not subscribed to Robert's Reading Room and Reviews, and, you know, just drop a comment if it's an author I'm missing out on. I would love to read them, you know. And my Instagram, Robert's Reading Room, my Facebook page is Robert Reading Room and Reviews. And I look forward to hopefully in the next few weeks coming up to have another book giveaway. So stay tuned and follow. I would just like to say happy reading and good evening.